Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. Let's get started. The first thing I did is I applied two coats of this pink nail polish by Simple Colors called 24-7. Followed by that, I'm going to get my white nail polish and I'm going to be creating a thick stripe in the center of my nail coming in sideways. Next, I'm going to be using this purple nail polish by Best Sense number 36. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using to paint the entire design. And this is what the tip looks like. I'm going to begin by painting a purple flower over the pink polished area. It's going to be a five petal flower. Now above where we applied the purple nail polish, I'm going to be a painting a half three petal yellow flower. In the center of my purple flower, I'm going to be creating two yellow stripes over each flower petal, starting in the center and coming outwards towards the rest of the flower petal. Now in the top yellow flower, I'll be creating two purple stripes. Over the entire purple polished area, I'm just going to be creating a bunch of random white tiny dots. I'm going to be painting a swervy green stripe stemming from the bottom flower. In the tip of the stripe, I'm going to be applying a couple of dots in the same color, green. Coming from under the flower, I'm also going to be creating another little green stem. Now I'm going to be applying a couple of white dots coming in along sideways the little green stem we, we made. And then on the bottom little green stem, I'm also going to be placing a couple of white dots. On the top yellow flower, I'm also going to be adding a green leaf overlapping some of the dots. Now I'm going to begin painting in the zebra stripes. I'm going to apply top coat in the center of both of my flowers. On the bottom flower, I'm going to be placing a red rhinestone. You can also go silver, but I wanted my design to be as colorful as it could be. And on the top yellow flower, I'm going to be placing a lavender rhinestone. 
Your last step is just to apply your top coat sealing in your design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this nail art design using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye! I've received a lot of questions about these nail art practice fingers. These come in very handy if you want to practice your nail art before actually applying it to your fingernails. The way these work is that they have a little slot. So you remove the artificial nail and you could see the little slot over that area. You're going to get your artificial nail and you're going to just place it in the slot and press it in. You can also use longer fingernails, but I like using the short ones because I get to show you how the nail art design would look on a smaller scale. So you could see there that I was able to fit this entire design in a short in a short nail fingernail the only thing I did different is that I applied smaller rhinestones so if you're interested in purchasing these you can try eBay or your local beauty supply store they're very affordable I believe I paid about $1.99 for each of my practice fingers I hope this information helps